fucking talk to me that way, man. If my answers frighten you, Vincent, then you should cease asking scary questions. Um, what books and magazines are you currently reading? I'm not huge on the on the reading thing because I'm a typesetter and I read all day. But uh, my buddy Ben at work gave me this, and I've been reading through it. Um, it's a uh, Star Wars tag and bank. Um, it's uh, the story of these two guys and how they kind of intertwine with the uh, Star Wars saga. Um, and I think it's pretty funny, and I've been reading this. So this is what I've been reading. Uh, magazines. I do like looking through my older magazines now and again, but I don't, I haven't bought one in a while, a gaming magazine. Because I'm more, I need to get it like a retro magazine or something versus a, uh, um, this gen, because I just don't care. But I don't even know what retro magazines are out there, so. Uh, we're getting close to the time running out uh, for my camera, the length. Um, so I'll probably wrap it up with this one, and then we'll uh, start again fresh. Um, could we have a tour of your game room? I will do another tour at some point, Ty. I did do one called the Infamous Room Tour. Uh, not a lot has changed except for the stuff on my shelves a little more now because I bought more stuff since that happened. Um, my room is basically hasn't changed much. I still keep it pretty picked up. I still have four big, big tubs of shit. Uh, that I can't even put out. I would love to be able to wallpaper the wall with a bunch of posters that look like those and and put up shelves and display everything, but um, I'm just not there yet. I'm open one day to be in a position where I'm living in a, in a different home where um, I'll feel more comfortable to do that. Um, I could do it here, but it's not really in the cards. So I do what I can. But, uh... I'm going to sign off uh, with that. And uh, thanks for the comment, buddy. Um, I didn't even look at any of the questions. I didn't comment on any of the questions. I just printed them off because I wanted um, to just hit them, hit them straight. So I'm getting there. I've got, oh, I don't know, two or three more sheets. So uh, this is going to be crazy long. I'll be putting up like two or three parts of it a week, but... I'm going to sign off and uh, copy this off, and I uh, hope you folks are enjoying it. I'm going to move to the uh, next uh, set of questions on the next video. So I'm marathoning it, folks. I'm doing this all in one setting, so you got to at least admire that. Even if you're bored out of your freaking minds. So uh, thanks again, everybody, for uh, subbing and just checking out what, I, what I've been doing. So. Folks, back in the saddle again. Seeing them Todd here, Adam. Uh, powering through this marathon question and answer session. I still have two and a half sheets of list of uh, questions. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay, Panda Box ninety four. Hey, bro, thanks for some questions. Uh, favorite band? Ooh, I think I answered this one in a previous vid. Um, I said Metallica that holds true. I'm going to try to, if, if I get a repeat question, I'm going to try to give you a little more insight. Um, top three bands. Um, my other two favorites, uh, Soundgarden was one of my favorites. I'm so hoping they do a reunion tour. That would be awesome. I would love it if they would get back together and put out another album. That would be so fucking sweet. Um... And my other band was uh, Alice in Chains. I loved Alice in Chains. I, I still like Alice in Chains. They do kind of sound the same. I mean, Jerry Cantrell um, sang half the songs on some of their later albums anyway. So, I mean, um, so those are my top three bands as opposed to just doing one. Uh, ooh, what's my cat's name? My cat's name is Isabel. Uh, she's, uh, she was a stray. Uh, we took her in. I didn't name her. Uh, the girl I was dating at the time named her. Um, but she became my cat, so that's her name. I don't know what I would have named her if it was mine. Probably something. Actually, I wasn't that into video games at that time, so I doubt it would have been video game related, but um, I probably would have named her something other than Isabel, but that is her name. Uh, top five Atari 2600 games. 
Oh, this should be fairly easy. Uh, my number one uh, favorite Atari game is Asteroids. It's always been um, just something about the da 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 da, and just pew, 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 pew. I just Missile Command would be number two. Um, I love Missile Command. Um, was never a huge fan of the Pac-Man on the Atari 2600. Um, Joust. Uh, Joust would be a third one. Um, number four, uh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say Berserk, number four. Um, no, no. Nix that. Uh, number four, uh, Combat uh, would be number four. The tanks and the planes uh, and the bouncy bullets. Um, I love Combat. Invisible, you know, Combat is a classic that would be in my top five and the fifth game uh, I should say Berserk since I said Berserk but I'm going to say and I, I might take shit but I loved the E.T. game as a kid I do know how to beat it uh, I have beaten it many times and E.T. was one of my, my favorites um, it's it's hard I mean there are, you can, there are different settings I mean you can put it on an easy setting where the the uh, like government doesn't come looking for him quite as fast, but um, I don't know. I love ET so asteroids, missile command, uh, combat. Um, joust. <laughs> I forgot and uh, ET and berserk. I do really like berserk, so that would be uh, number six maybe. Um, Pole position seven. There's, I mean, there's a ton, but I, I, those are that's what I'm going with. Um, so thanks, Panda Box, uh, for the questions. Uh, on to the next set of questions. Oh, uh, Lafarius, uh, thanks for submitting some questions. Uh, what's the worst game I've ever played? Um, ooh, folks, uh, it might be, it might very well be the game I played a while back on that gameplay, and I'd never played it before. And it might very well be Mega Race for the Sega CD. Um, the fact that it took so many loading screens that the uh, graphics were so dated. And I didn't understand the point of it. I didn't understand how you raced or sped your car up. The acceleration didn't matter. I think you had to hit these lanes or these lit up things in the lane. But it was, it was god awful. I mean, it, 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 go watch the video. I still haven't posted Called like Mega Race Rant or something. That's that's it. That's probably the worst one. Um, have you ever been? Has there ever been a game you played that other that you really liked, but others uh, really didn't like? Um, I don't know because everybody's tastes are different. You're always going to find somebody that really you know kind of digs digs something. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I remember none of my friends back when I had my 8-bit Nintendo liked Bionic Commando, and mainly because he couldn't jump, but I got used to it and got used to using that arm, and I really loved the Bionic Commando game, and I remember a bunch of them didn't really like it that much, so that's that's probably one. Um, what's another one? I'm trying to think of something else. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go with that. I, I do remember that, that, that people weren't really a fan of that. Um, uh, I don't know. That's, pro that's probably it. I'm anguishing over it. I want to give you more, Lafarius. I'm going to give you a better answer. But uh, I do know for a fact Bonnet Commando. So. I'm going to say that one. Um, thanks for the questions. Uh